I feel something. You feel it? Yes, I feel it. That's the force. Really? Wow, it must be really strong oh, of you. I've never felt any... Ow! Uh, welcome to another Gotham Academy video and in anticipation to the new Star Wars. Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, we want to go back to the previous Star Wars, The Last Jedi and try to understand why was it so controversial because you really really liked it and I really really hated it change my mind change our mind a lot of what I heard in terms of like um, what people hated it so much I think it was misdirected in a way B B Ryan Johnson definitely misdirected it <laughs> <laughs> or you, <Okay. laughs> you think the anger was misdirected <laughs> It has made you powerful. The way I see it, I see this movie, it, it had a very big task to, first of all, take this franchise and speak to both audience, to speak to the audience that came and knows this franchise very well. I know why I'm supposed to be here. Why? Because I got nowhere else to go. You know, gives them what they wanted in terms of like, yeah, this is the Star Wars we love and we really missed and we want to go and we nostalgic, we're nostalgic about. And also give us something new to this, thing, like break it apart and say, well, maybe we can do something different. And maybe we can do something very, look at that, look at this in a new perspective in a way and look at the new characters and bring something which has not been seen before in Star Wars and say, yeah, this is part of this universe also. And I think that's what he managed to do, and I think that's why it also pissed off a lot of people. He pissed off a lot of people because he kind of dissed the very nature of the story. She gives him the, the lightsaber, this is kind of a passing of the baton back and forth, and he just like takes uh, Star Wars. Whatever. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> Let's throw it away. It's got, it felt to me a lot like very similar to Ryan Johnson's friends, Dan and Dave in Game of Thrones, just like, I don't, don't bring care. Game of Thrones in it straight away, yeah, come on. It was a better story than Brand the Broken. <laughs> Fuck you fans, I'm gonna do what I want, mm -hmm. deal with it. This is my movie now. And this is a very, very, very big mistake, not only commercially, but also uh, from a storytelling perspective. You need us to be engaged. I thought it was boring and too long and scattered all over the place and mostly just didn't respect the reasons that got people uh, into the story and, and into the theater watching the movie. I got nowhere else to go. If you copy paste like the, uh, what happened before, it's old. But they did copy paste the Force Awakens was like a remake of A New Hope. Exactly. In, in terms of the, in, in terms of, wait, in many ways, in, mainly in, in the story, right? In the, in the beats and in the stories yeah, of, yeah, 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 exactly the same. But there's a very big difference. And I think that's something that uh, needs to be said. Like, what was the difference? Because it relates to the same. There was a woman and a black man. Exactly. Yeah, that's, it. that's the whole difference. <laughs> that was the difference. <laughs> no. What's the, the theme and the biggest premise of, of these two movies? We're taking the old generation, right? This is Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Princess Leia. And in the subtext, let's put in the subtext, this is the generation, like our generation, that saw the movies as our children, right? And we're taking them, and now there's a new generation. This is Ray. This is the new people that they want to come into. Okay. Yeah. Passing of the baton. Exactly. That's the. That's the. It's even not the subtext. It's fucking a text of the yeah. of the film. Everywhere. That's the. That's the. It's even not the subtext. It's fucking a text of the yeah. of the film. Everywhere. Yeah. It's time to let old things die. You're still holding on. Let go. Our supreme leader is dead. We have no ruler. <laughs> The Supreme Leader is dead. Long live the Supreme Leader. We need to burn the old to make new for room for the new. Okay. Okay. So here, first disagreement. <laughs> okay. Why do you have to burn the old to make way for the new? You can pass the baton. This could be something consensual that people do. Okay, let's work together <laughs> for the future. But he's like, 
throwing the lightsaber, burning the magic Jedi tree. <laughs> we have to kill the all, we have to kill the all, the all is horrible. No, this is not. If can... there was no conflict, there was no movie, first of all. <laughs> as if you can't do it gradually, as if it has to end. And then uh, Luke Skywalker disappearing. No, this doesn't have to be this way. All that in, in one movie. Do it gradually, because the reason that people came to the theater that was because of the old things. The lightsaber, the magic Jedi tree, symbolically, and Luke Skywalker. Let's look at his arc, all right? Luke Skywalker's arc. In the first one, New Hope, his, like, his arc is from naivety like, to, some, to maturity, right? It's like okay. it's a hero's journey in a way that yeah. it's like an Alice in Wonderland kind of film. If, okay. you, if you want to see, okay, he's like a little boy, doesn't know anything, he's farming and stuff and everything like that. And then somebody comes in and shows him the world, right? So the universe and he goes through wonderful adventures and he learns something, by the way, on the way. Yeah, that's becomes it. a hero. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It becomes from like this kid to this hero. Yeah, okay. But second movie. Second movie is, says, okay, let's make it more complex, right? Let's put something, another layer. In. Now he discovers that he has the dark side also inside him. This brings this complexity and it's very Christian. It's the yeah. devil and uh, God and you have to choose between them yeah. and there's no in-betweens. And yeah, it's like old school kind of good okay. and bad and whatever. But he, had, he understands that the bad is inside him and it, he's tempted by the devil, right? Yeah. He's tempted by like, okay. I'm your father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like the temptation. And that's like the second movie, which was the best we all agree it's yeah, the yeah, best. Yeah. We all agree about yeah, yeah. that. Third movie. Third movie. It's about like understanding compassion and redemption in terms of a conclusion. He understands it through his uh, light side, through his like love or compassion to his father. You know, he can overcome the right. dark side. That's the, the whole thing. Okay. Now look at the, his character. He has a lot of flaws and he doesn't like handle these flaws through these three movies. You need to kind of like motivate him a lot. You know, like look at Yoda. Until him, if Yoda doesn't like fucking take him by the hand and like, you know, makes him do stuff, he, he just gives up. This is in the second movie. Yeah. No. We'll never get it out now. Always with you, it cannot be done. Master, moving stones around is one thing. This is totally different. No, no different. Only different in your mind. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. You want the impossible. It's in the second movie. No, like, come on. Okay. And he doesn't handle these things in the third movie. It's not changed in that way. No. 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 The things that we see in, the in, the, in these movies, like this character, of, is the same character. He gave up because nobody like takes him by the hand and says, come on, you have to fucking do this. Okay. This is Luke Skywalker. Okay. Come on, let's face it. You don't need Luke Skywalker. Did you hear a word I just said? You think what? I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down the whole First Order? I came to this island to die. It's time for the Jedi to end. This is not going to go the way you think. No matter how good you are at jumping, there's always about a million people better than you. Gotcha. Can't win, don't try. Let's face it. Okay. All right? You, you take that. <laughs> it's okay. okay. I still think that you can take that character and just do it well. Okay. Another thing that felt to me, it felt as if Ryan Johnson was yeah. saying, I will make my own Star Wars. Yes. And again, burning the tree. And now, raise parents. The parents being the old movies also. Nah, they're nobody. The old movies? Who cares about the old movies? It's, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's do something new. Okay, Ryan Johnson, you want to make a movie about where the past doesn't matter at all, we have to burn the past? Do a different movie. Do a different movie where people don't come in because of the old stuff, waiting to get something new maybe, but in a way that doesn't feel, that doesn't make people feel that they were cheated or that they're stupid to, to be Star Wars fans and to enjoy and to be interested in the Force and all that. And nah, it doesn't matter. The Force is not a power you have. It's the energy between all things, the tension, the balance that binds the universe together. 
Okay. But what is it? Raise parents? Nah. Doesn't matter. Why? It doesn't help, doesn't help the movie. It's just like a middle finger. Why not have uh, Luke Skywalker be your father? That would have been more emotionally really? satisfying. Really? Yeah. Just nobody? Her, her, your parents are nobody? Okay. That's great. No, this is yes. like not interesting. It's not interesting. Yes. Look, it's it would be interesting in a different story. In this story where it's a very simplistic uh, world where people... But they don't in. want to make it a simplistic world. They want to make it more no, complex. It was the most simplistic Star Wars movie that I've seen. With really? ridiculous, where everybody's telling, okay, so we have, have to go. Have you seen the first trilogy lately? <laughs> yeah, I have. I have. Here, like, whenever, before something happens, they do like a recap. You're the only father left, it's all down to you! Ma said this master code breaker would have a red palm bloom on his lapel. Let's find him and get out of here. Okay, so when the sun, uh, when there's no uh, more sun, that means we lost. Like, it's always like this, uh, like very simplistic, uh, we're framing, like, okay, you remember? You remember what, we, what we're doing here? This is A to B. Also, since the first movie, since uh, A New Hope, not A New Hope, uh, Our Force Awakens, basically a remake to A New Hope, they create with you the expectation probably because the, 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 the middle trilogy was so horrible. It's like, let's erase the middle trilogy. Let's forget about the middle trilogy. We're going back to the New Hope. This is why it's a, like a remake to the New Hope. So you get people expecting something, and then you say, ah, what you were expecting? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's all throw that away. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Telling This is a, a narcissistic vain way of treating your audience. What do you care about? I don't care about it. I don't care about it. First of all, Move I on. think... Move on. Again, I'm not saying that this is like a perfect movie. Of course it's not a perfect movie. Of course it's not. This is not the, the issue. I think that Ryan Johnson has a lot of respect towards the Star Wars industry. I think he do. I think okay. that's, that's where you're really wrong. Like, if, you're, if, that's, the, if that's the issue, it's, I think we're really different. Okay. Let's take Ray's character, okay. okay? She's very different from Luke Skywalker from the beginning. They're both like, we're in a planet, like, right, and want to go out and seem themselves like they have like this yearning for yeah. something more. But, but she has an incredible drive. But why? What's different? What, what's different between her and, and Luke Skywalker? Look at it. She, tell me, tell me! Tell me, tell me! <laughs> she starts from nothing. She has nothing. Luke Skywalker, with all his, like, he was, he had two nice parents, in a nice family, yeah. working in a nice job. She comes from nothing and her problem is identity. That's her problem. She doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know who her parents were. She doesn't know where he, her place is in this universe. So the new trilogy is looking around to see what's our place in this universe, in the Star Wars universe. And the first movie of this new trilogy is saying our place in this, uh, in this Star Wars universe yeah. is basically the original Star Wars universe. Let's get back to the look and feel, not so much uh, crazy CGI. Let's do the basic stuff with the rolling ball, not Yoda this doing flip flaps. And then the second one is saying, you know what? Your identity is nothing. It's nothing. No, it you, 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 it's, not, it's, not, it's not, it's not, it's not that you're reading it all wrong. First of all, <laughs> first of all the first movie had to do this this is great i think jj Amos did a good job because that's what was needed you needed to take like this audience that hadn't seen a movie like this in 30 years and just going let's see the old star wars yeah. again yeah right you have to do this it's great that's what needed for the first movie but then the second movie has to take this out of this context and say, okay, you have the old movie, you have these old characters, you have these fighting things. Here, you've seen Chewbacca. You wanted Chewbacca, you get Chewbacca. But wait a second, we're not in the 70s anymore. We don't have like black and white. And this is much more complex. Black and female. This is a much more complex film. I'm sorry, it's, it's still a Star Wars movie. It's still a kid's movie, I say, of course. But it's much more complex than other. That's first of all, in the first fucking movie that says you see a, a social commentary, it's maybe bad, it's done pretty poorly, but it's you never had this in a Star Wars movie. They're going into this casino and you see the first class, like how they're doing and how and what this means to the to the lower class. You're talking about like weapons and we're talking about weapons and it's saying, okay, these weapons can be also for the first or under barrel. It's not black and white. And you have characters that are like Han Solo, but suddenly they betray the, par the, the characters, right? They blow you up today, you blow them up tomorrow. It's the 
America's business. They betray them. It's 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 great because it's much more complex. So if it was an academic uh, work, okay. then it's fine. But since this is art, <laughs> <laughs> the way that they tell us that the world is complex in this casino is like, they are bad. Look what they are doing. They are bad. Star Wars. We can't see you, It was. <laughs> it was not showing. It was telling. They were telling us. Look, they are selling the arms to both sides. Look, look what they're doing to the animals. They are treating them, mistreating animals and kids. They are bad. This is. This is, is not this good movie making. This is not good. This is not good storytelling. It's but nice to have complex <laughs> ideas, but first of all, this is not a complex universe. Star Wars. It's not a complex it's universe. It's a, it's I'm a not universe saying this from it. I'm saying, again, again, look at it in terms of the other movies where you have yeah. like so the, the dark side and the, and the light side. And okay, but it. this is like, a universe. Yeah, right. I prefer, <laughs> I, 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 I like Game of Thrones, the original, whatever, A Song of Ice and Fire. I like it more than I like Star Wars. I like The Wire more <laughs> than I like Star Wars. It's not that I want yeah. a binary story. But I accept uh, their whatever the rules of the game. This is this is the universe. This is the story. It's a simplistic story with good and evil. It's like a fairy tale. Okay. If this is a story, if you wanna make a movie about it, you have to keep to the lines that the. Why? Who says that? If you want to tell a different story, tell a different story. Who says that? That's what you need. I don't think so. I think if you want. Okay, you get the last point. Yeah, get huh? the, you last, you make the last point. point. And then I cut it out in the editing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really think that um, you need to bring your own perspective into a movie. And first of all, I really don't think this perspective is Johnson. Like I said, I think it comes already from the first one. It comes from the writing. And when they came to this problem of like reinventing this franchise, this is the, this is the solution they came up with. And I think it's a good solution. I think that you need to stay with the old, but also bring the new. This is exactly what Yoda says when he burns down the tree and you have to look at it. Come on. He burns down the tree and he fucking says to him, this is not it. This is not it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, the, he says, what you need is, is inside you. That's it. No, it's inside Ray. Yeah. Ray knows everything. Exactly. Ray is Ryan Johnson. Exactly. And uh, Lucas is uh, Luke Skywalker says, no, I know everything. You have to. It's not like he says, OK, the Jedi doesn't mean anything. That's what Luke says before that. He says, no, the Jedi does mean something, but it's not about the books. It's not about this the tradition. It's not about this, like, something that is, it can evolve. It can be something that grows. I agree. You Just agree about that. Do a good job about it. That's my job. point. Okay. What, do you, finish th that. what yeah. do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Please mention in the comments. Thank you, Asi. Asi, also, you're a co-founder of yeah. the Vivi app. It's Shazam for movies and shows. There's a link in the description. You can get there all kinds of information, meta information about movies and shows broken down to scenes and everything that is inside the scene. Text, uh, artifacts, clothing, uh, our actors, locations, everything. Yeah. So the links, the link is in the description. We're starting now uh, in The Mandalorian. It uh, will be coming on soon. Star Wars now. Star Wars, boom. Click it. Okay, thank you everybody thank for tuning in. We'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.